Hey, it's Skulls. I'm back again with another Bleach Brave Souls video. With the New Year's celebration right around the corner, it is predictable for Caleb to throw down some trap banners to milk us out. However, the mid month was not to be expected at all. Who would have thought we'd be getting Burn the Witch seasonals already? The issue at hand is that Caleb packed his banner full of fan service combined with a new type of skill. Stay tuned, we'll talk about it. If at any moment during the video you find it knowledgeable or entertaining, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps a lot so others can discover my content. So, the Burn the Witch Christmas Summons. How many orbs should you spend? Before we can determine this, let's further analyze the situation. First up, let's go over the characters. Christmas Nini. Nini is a ranged strong attack character who inflicts weaken on all her attacks. Her first strong attack is a 3000 length beam, which is starting to be more common amongst these newer characters. Her second strong attack is a 30 hit crawling vortex, and finally her third strong attack is a standard 1200 radius full screen attack. She does have a 14% strong attack recharge soul trait, which means you'll be using her strong attacks more often. For her skills, she has innate skills of sprinter plus 2, guard break, and earn evader, meaning Nini has a chance to inflict weak into any enemy on the map every 5 seconds. With the inclusion of hit hidden enemies, you won't even have to worry about equipping her with any extra accessories that would hinder with her DPS. If hitting enemies twice wasn't enough, what about 3 times? Nini is currently one of the few to have frenzy plus 2. Not only does Nini increase mind link slot potion drop by 5, but she is currently the only character who can increase mind super link slot potion drop by 5 as well. Having an increased status ailment chance against mind soul reapers and no affiliation characters further benefits Nini's success in inheritance trials. The rest of her skills are Havoc 20% which increases her strong attack range, Devastation 60% increasing her special move damage, and finally Depilitator of 5 seconds increasing the duration of her status ailments. Now that we've gone over what Nini is capable of, let's compare her to a few other characters. Tokinata, Hamura and Shizuku, and Ganju are all matching with the attribute, affiliation, and killer. With Nini being the 4th addition to the party, she's also the only strong attack oriented character, making her that more unique. Nini does not have Berserker which increases her strong attack damage, but is definitely made up with her Frenzy plus 2. The only flaw I can pick out on this character is that second strong attack being a Crawling Vortex. In my opinion, I do believe that a Crawling Vortex is the shortest stick in comparison to all the Vortex types. She had a chance at receiving a Tracking Vortex or even a Breathing Vortex. Let alone, Nini's versatility in both Inheritance Zone and Trials already makes her an amazing character. Next up, Christmas Noel. Noel is a ranged strong attack character who also inflicts weaken on all her attacks. Her first strong attack is a ranged collision shave, and her second strong attack is a vortex into a shave. Her third strong attack is a standard 1200 radius full screen attack, and her special move includes automatic revival. Noel does have a 12% recharge soul trait, meaning you'll be using her strong attacks often, but not as often as Nini. As for her skills, Noel has innate skills of sprinter, guard break, and havoc 20%. Similar to Nini, Noel has the plus 5 power link slot potion and super link slot potion skill. Noel does have an increased status ailment chance against power hollows and no affiliation characters, making her very good in IT. To further complement the skill, she also gets an 80% spiritual pressure boost when inflicting status ailments. The rest of her skills are bombardment which increases her special move hits, berserker 40%, Bruiser 20% which increases her normal attack damage, Frenzy, and Debilitator of 5 seconds. The only characters similar to Noel are Quincy Ichigo and Ambassador Seaweed. So if you don't have either, then this is your perfect opportunity to fulfill that affiliation killer combo. My only issue with Noel is that her first strong attack being ranged collision. This means she won't be hitting the enemy 100% of the time. Besides that, Noel is aligned with good strong attacks and meta skills. With the new characters out of the way, let's take a look at the main banner fillers. Alongside with Nini and Noel, there is Christmas Momo, Christmas Riruka, Christmas Soifan, Christmas Nanao, Redux Nanao, Swimsuit Nemu, and Desert Society Rukia. Out of the 7th filler, Momo and Rukia are both Link Slot characters. However, neither have the Super Link Slot drop skill. Nemu is blessed with amazing strong attacks, 
Christmas now is fun to play as, and Redux now is top meta. Interesting enough, there will be no individual banners for Noel and Nini. The banner does end on December 30th, so we will know what the end of the year characters are before then. Keep that in mind before summoning, because you could possibly change your mind. Now for my final assessment. Just how many orbs should you spend for Christmas Noel and Nini? They're both extremely powerful seasonal characters with one of a kind skills, so who knows when we'll be able to see them again. I do have concerns regarding Nini's second strong attack and Noel's first, but that can be disregarded due to their dual potion drop skills. Even outside of IZ and IT, I can see them both performing well. As for the fillers, they're chosen well but it comes down to you to decide whether you want duplicates or don't have any of them at all. For this banner, I would rate it 10 steps out of 30, equaling up to 1800 spirit orbs. It is a bit bold of me to recommend 10 steps since New Year's is 2 weeks away, but remember that the banner will still be around when we find out who the end of the year characters are. You can wait, right? Oh, right. Fan service. I forgot. What do you think? Will you be summoning for Christmas Noel and Nini? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time.